know you. Do you have a Facebook account? How about LinkedIn? Instagram? So you probably like online shopping in Amazon or eBay? Are you looking for recipes or plan your next vacation using Pinterest? If you answered yes to even one of these questions, then you're enjoying the incredible things that the internet has to offer. But I was right. I do know you. And so do other social engineers, which means you're at risk. I have three children. They were born into the internet age. And as a cybersecurity professional with almost 20 years of experience, I have the skills to protect myself and them online. But you don't have to be a master hacker or a security expert to be safe online. My goal here today is to share some of the tools and techniques I use so that you too will be able to protect yourself, your families, and your business and use the internet without fear. Until the 1920s, when someone wanted to cross the road, they had to simply walk across to the other side. That changed with the increase in automobiles and the introduction of pedestrian crossing to law. Crossing the road safely is a basic life skill that every parent teaches their kids. I believe that cyber skills are the 21st century equivalent of road safety in the 20th century. If we look at our homes, even if we install the best security mechanisms, such as alarms, CCTV cameras, sophisticated locks, all will fail if someone tricks us into giving them the keys. The same is true for our home and office networks. We can use the best security technologies out there. Antiviruses, firewalls, IPSs, DLPs, I can go on and on. But it's not going to help us if we give away our keys. For example, give someone else our passwords. Social engineering is the art of manipulation. Getting someone to do something they're not supposed to do. A social engineer exploits basic human traits, such as fear, greed, curiosity, and urgency. A social engineer uses these traits to get you to click a link, download a file, give someone else your password, or pay an extortionist. Today, over 80% of all security incidents involve the human factor, us. That's true both for organizations and home users. So let's go from being the weakest link into being the strongest link. On the fall of 2015, 21-year-old Jake met a girl online. They started texting each other, flirting. Things heated up, and Jake sent his girlfriend an intimate photo. At that moment, everything changed. His girlfriend demanded he pay her ransom, or she'd send his photo to his friends and family. At first, Jake thought it was a joke, but it wasn't. Jake paid his extortionist, but the story did not end there. The extorter demanded more and more money, pushing Jake to take his own life. Unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident. Numerous people were driven to commit suicide after falling victim to sextortion. Sextortion is an extortion attempt based on threats to publish intimate photos and videos of the victim. Sextortion targets everyone, from 12-year-old children to senior citizens over 80. People online are not always who they claim to be. Have you ever searched your name online? Try it. I bet you don't even remember that post from 2014. Just like an elephant, the internet never forgets. What goes online stays online. A sophisticated attacker can build a phishing email that targets you specifically. For example, if you're a runner, they might send you a special offer on running shoes. Such attacks use data extracted from social media accounts of the victim. But the threat 
is not limited to the cyber realm. When we share an Instagram story while abroad, we're basically inviting a burglar to break into our empty houses. So think before you share. Your social media accounts can be used against you. Review your privacy settings and never upload something that might be used against you, now or in the future. How fun is it to get a message like this? If I click, I can definitely win a free flight. And also, this might happen. That is exactly what happened to a friend of mine. She's a videographer specializing in creating family documentaries. A couple of years ago, she called me after seeing a weird looking message on her computer screen. She had a deadline, submitting a documentary she spent three months making. So I came over. As soon as I entered her studio, I knew she had a serious problem. The weird looking message was ransomware or her files were encrypted and she couldn't access them. I immediately asked her, do you have a backup? To my dread, she said she did not. My heart sank. At that point, there were only two options. Pay the ransom and hope to get the decryption key or lose the work. Having your computer affected by ransomware is usually a result of clicking a link or downloading a file in a phishing email. Many phishing emails are designed as a security alert or important message and impersonate well-known services such as Facebook, Amazon, Google or Microsoft. So please, think before you click. Amazon, eBay, PayPal, all know me by name. They would never call me dear customer. So beware of non-personalized messages and unknown senders. Hover over the links and never download attachments from unknown sources. The best way to protect yourself against ransomware is simply backing up your important data. You can use cloud backup or external storage devices, or if you're paranoid like me, both. It won't prevent the attack but it will minimize its effect on your life. Think ahead and back up. Trying to technically hack a company is difficult. There are layers of security that protect the network. But hackers are smart. They go for the weakest link, the end user. While random, non-personalized phishing attacks are still very common, in many cases, the attacker will do his or her Homework. An attacker can search a company on social media and look for known employees. Then start digging into an employee's social media account to help build a targeted attack. The attacker then creates a phishing email that will lure the user to verify their credentials. Using the stolen credentials, the attacker can auto-forward all emails received by the user, thus gain full knowledge of everything that goes on in that user's life and workplace. A few months ago, I was contacted by a CFO in a large financial company. They almost fell victim to a million dollar scam. My team and I ran a few tests and found that an attacker used phishing to gain access to an email account of one of the executives in the company. The attacker followed email exchange at the company and when an interesting deal came along, he made his move. Forging an email from the executive asking that an upcoming bank transfer will be made to a new bank account. The company got lucky and identified the attack on time. But other companies were not that lucky. Facebook and Google reported losing over $100 million due to such scams. A Belgian bank lost over $75 million and many more. So again, think before you click. We just reviewed three examples of online threats. Sextortion, ransomware, and spear phishing, personalized attacks. Obviously, this talk is not nearly long enough to go through all existing online threats. But to be honest, it almost always comes down to the same thing, social engineering. Security awareness is an ongoing process. The attackers grow in sophistication every day. 
So if you feel someone is trying to manipulate you, get you to do something now, tap into your innermost fears or pick your curiosity, be vigilant. Review emails, online ads, text messages with a grain of salt. Look for red flags like non-personalized emails, unknown senders, or suspicious looking links. And if something doesn't feel right, don't ignore your instincts and consult a professional. When you go home today, I urge you to remember three things. Think before you share. Before posting on social media, think if this is something that you should share with the world. Think before you click. Look for phishing warning signs. And think ahead and back up your important data. I am confident that by using the tools and techniques I shared with you today, you can use the internet while keeping yourselves and your loved ones safe online, now and forever. Thank you.